As you all know, Hurricane Helene has ravaged multiple states in the South with a death toll now surpassing 230 people, which is a very, very high number for a hurricane. And for those who were lucky enough to survive, many of them have lost everything in the aftermath. So if you were affected by this, I am genuinely sorry. This is truly a nightmare situation. And to make matters worse, People in Florida are now bracing for Hurricane Milton, which is another Category 5 hurricane with 175 mile per hour winds. So it's hit after hit, and this truly is heartbreaking. But in the short term, obviously, politicians should be doing everything that they can to support local and state efforts to mitigate damage. And in the long term, obviously, they should see this as a reminder that climate change needs to be addressed at some point preferably in the short term, because we were warned that climate change would increase the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events. And that's playing out before our very eyes. Yet we're still having a debate about whether or not it's even real because the people who run this country are genuinely insane. But while people's lives are being destroyed right now, Donald Trump isn't thinking about them. He's thinking about ways he can use this national catastrophe to demonize immigrants. And it didn't take long before other Republicans started to parrot his latest lie about immigrants. Well, they're doing a very bad job. They've given over a billion dollars to illegal migrants that came in, and now they have no money for North Carolina, for Georgia, for South Carolina, and Alabama, Tennessee, and Florida. Uh, I think that's a disgrace. They stole the FEMA money just like they stole it from a bank so they could give it to their illegal immigrants that they want to have vote for them this season. They're hearing from the DHS secretary they're out of money to help them, but they still have money to help people who have come to this country illegally. You know, whether it's money, a billion dollars that's been allocated for illegals that's not coming here to Western North Carolina. So after spreading the lie cooked up by the neo-Nazi group Blood Tribe about Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio, eating pets, he's now claiming that we don't have enough money for hurricane relief because Biden stole that money to give it to immigrants so that way they'll vote for Kamala Harris. You have to understand here, there are layers to the bullshit. First and foremost, non-citizens are not eligible to vote in federal elections. Second of all, Congress is who appropriates funds for FEMA, not the president, although the president can call on agencies to reallocate funds, but Biden hasn't done that. And funny enough, Congress just had a vote on September 25th, actually, to approve an additional $20 billion in funding for disaster relief. And let's just take a look at how Republicans voted. As you can see from this list provided by Newsweek, nearly 100 Republicans voted against FEMA funding, including Republicans in states literally affected by the hurricane, like Matt Gates and Byron Donalds of Florida, Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia, Senators Marsha Blackburn and Bill Haggerty of Tennessee, and also Tim Scott of South Carolina. Now, to be clear, that $20 billion isn't enough because the estimated cost of the damage due to Hurricane Helene is around $160 billion. So there needs to be more. But if you voted against FEMA funding and you live in a state affected by it, you're just a monster. Now, Brian Mast, a Florida representative who also voted against that $20 billion in FEMA funding, made a really interesting suggestion, writing on Twitter, I'm demanding Joe Biden and Kamala Harris immediately claw back the millions set for Gaza and divert it to American families affected by Hurricane Helene. American tax dollars should feed our families here at home, not fuel our foes abroad. Now, Brian Mast is giving away the game here because the millions of dollars in aid that we've given to Gaza pales in comparison to the estimated 20 $2.8 billion that we've given to Israel to carry out the genocide of the people in Gaza. And Brian Mast in particular called for Congress to rush additional funding for weapons and bombs to Israel. So he votes against disaster relief funding for Americans after repeatedly voting to send money to Israel for bombs. And he's now grandstanding about us needing to use American tax money on Americans. Interesting. But I mean, it's not surprising because Brian Mast is a sociopath who suggested that Palestinian babies were terrorists in order to justify their murder. But I mean, if you're going to lie to us, at least spare us the political theater because we already know that you're lying and you don't actually care about Americans. Otherwise, you would have voted that way. Now, I want to talk about 
Senator Lindsey Graham. So to his credit, he did vote for that FEMA funding that Brian Mast and other Republicans voted against. Now it's not enough, which is why, as Newsweek reports, President Joe Biden said Monday he may call Congress back into session during a break to pass emergency supplemental funding, as some lawmakers from states hit by Helene have urged. Now, to be fair, I don't know how Lindsey Graham would vote if another vote came up, but I do know that on Fox News, he changed the topic real quick when discussing the hurricane to make a case for even more money going to Israel. You know, I, I've been going all over South Carolina like most people had not slept much. But look what's going on in Israel. Our friends in Israel are surrounded by people that want to kill them, destroy them, a second holocaust in the making. And Biden says be proportional. What is the proportional response to people who want to kill you and oh your family? Gosh. They're running out of ammunition in Israel. We have to help our friends to keep the war over there from coming here. Yes, because Hamas is definitely going to kill all of us here in America if we don't give more money to Israel, a rogue state run by a war criminal doing a genocide. Amazing. So understand that as Republicans and Donald Trump continue to complain and say that the Biden administration is diverting funds away from Americans to assist migrants, they don't actually care about our tax dollars helping us because they're not voting that way and they all support more money going to Israel. So they're hypocrites and they just hate migrants and Gazans as well. But right now they're trying to pretend as if we could be using our tax dollars in a better way to help the people here at home when they're just not voting that way or advocating for that kind of policy, right? We're using tax dollar money to indiscriminately slaughter brown people and they have no qualms with that. They're not saying anything about the amount of money we're spending on Israel. So long as our money is being used to kill and maim people, they couldn't care less about Americans. We could die and they wouldn't give a single shit unless there's a political opportunity there, something to exploit. Then they feign concern for Americans. Otherwise, they're nowhere to be seen. But putting aside their xenophobia, it's just not true that Biden took money from FEMA and gave it to immigration. So DHS Secretary Mayorka said that they have funding to meet immediate needs for victims of Hurricane Helene. But since another hurricane is hitting, he did say that they need more money because they don't have enough to make it through hurricane season. Now, Trump has used that quote and he's twisted it and claimed that the Biden administration said that they don't have enough money for the current disaster when that's not what Mayorka said. But Trump then claimed that the Biden administration stole the money from DHS's FEMA fund to funnel it to immigrants. But Biden has not done that, nor has he called on DHS to reallocate funding. But do you want to know who did do this before? Take a guess. Donald J. Trump when he was president, because as The Washington Post reports, in 2019, the Trump administration in the middle of hurricane season told Congress that it was taking $271 million from DHS programs, including $155 million from the disaster fund to pay for immigration detention space and temporary hearing locations for asylum seekers who had been forced to wait in Mexico. Quote, the U.S. is facing a security and humanitarian crisis on the southern border, the administration said, and it's noticed that it was redirecting the funds. The monthly reports issued by the FEMA disaster fund show $38 million was plucked and given to Immigration and Customs Enforcement in August that year, just before the prime storm period of September and October. So ironically, Donald Trump did exactly what he's accusing Joe Biden of doing, except that he diverted funds away from disaster relief to hurt immigrants for the most part. And when he did it, it wasn't stealing. But if Joe Biden were to do it, that would be stealing. And I love this assumption that Biden has any interest whatsoever in helping immigrants, especially after boosting a border bill written by a literal Republican. But I mean, this is what Donald Trump does. He lies about immigrants because the ends justify the means. 30 plus bomb threats in Springfield, Ohio, as a result of the Nazi lie that he spread isn't some unintended consequence. It is the desired outcome of his lies. And now who knows how suffering Americans are gonna react after being falsely told that their tax dollars are going to be used to help violent immigrants as opposed to them. And that's not hyperbole. Donald Trump is constantly reinforcing this idea that all immigrants aren't just an inconvenience, but they're undesirable at a minimum. And at most, they're downright monsters who pose a direct threat to you and your family. And now Biden's helping them. He's putting them before you. Case in point, listen to what he says about immigrants. She wants to go into government housing. She wants to go into government feeding. She wants to feed people. Uh, she wants to feed people governmentally. 
She wants she wants to go into a communist party type system. When you look at the things that she proposes, they're so far off. She has no clue. How about allowing people to come through an open border, not, uh, 13,000 of which were murderers, many of them murdered far more than one person, and they're now happily living in the United States. You know, now a murderer, I believe this, it's in their genes, and we got ba- a lot of bad genes in our country right now. That's from today. Notice how the more he talks about immigrants, the more Hitlerian he sounds. There are so many people in this country with the murder genes, according to him. And uh, Harris wants to feed them and house them. They're housing all of these bad people when we don't have enough money for Americans who are currently in need. So that's what he's pushing to people. He's creating this us versus them mentality at a time when Americans are desperate, rightfully so, because of this hurricane. And these are the kinds of dangerous lies that he is disseminating on a daily basis. But I mean, it's interesting that he of all people would bring up murder genes, because if it is innate, then we all know that he definitely has the murder gene since he's currently full-throatedly supporting Israel's genocide in Gaza. And as president, he vetoed a bipartisan resolution that would have ended U.S. complicity in Saudi Arabia's genocide in Yemen, which led to 85,000 children under the age of five dying within three years as a result of malnutrition, as a direct result of Saudi Arabia starving and bombing them with weapons supplied by the U.S. government. And Donald Trump chose to continue that slaughter when both Republicans and Democrats actually came together and said, hey, maybe we should stop murdering innocent civilians for once. But he was like, nope, I'm the only one who stands alone here. It's ridiculous. So the real threat to Americans, it's not immigrants. It's fascist Republicans like Donald Trump. And all of this bullshit about immigrants is nothing more than projection because he called them murderers and rapists when he is literally a murderer and a rapist himself. But I'm imploring you all to reject these divisive Nazi-esque lies that he keeps spreading about immigrants because this is something that he is using specifically for political purposes. And I know that you and I know this, right? But it's our neighbors who don't know it. It's our family members who don't know that. They don't know that he is purposefully putting us against them because that's how he thinks he could win an election, exploit every single issue, make it about immigrants, use them as the scapegoat always. And that's how he's trying to win. But he doesn't give a fuck about you. And he certainly doesn't care if you're in dire straits right now and you're struggling to get by. He's using immigrants as a scapegoat so you can elect him and then he can get an office and cut his own taxes again. But at the end of the day, we are not using disaster relief money on immigrants. But even though that's not what's happening, I can assure you that if there's always more than enough money for bombs, there's certainly more than enough money to take care of everyone in this country, including immigrants who are hardworking people that are here to try to make a better life for themselves. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.